East Carolina Athletics and ISP Sports present the Skip Holt Show. The Skip Holt Show is brought to you in part by Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of the ECU Pirates. By Wachovia. With Wachovia, if your identity is ever stolen, fraud specialists will work closely with you to help restore it. By Greenville Toyota. Greenville Toyota. Come experience the Greenville Toyota Scion Advantage. And by Old Dominion Freightline, your transportation solution provider. And now with Coach Skip Holtz, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the Skip Holtz Show. You talk about a shootout in Conference USA. The Pirates prevail 52-38 over UCF. And Skip, you've been around football a long time. I've been around it a long time. Have you ever seen a quarter of football like we saw in that third that, period? That third quarter was unbelievable. I mean, back and forth and all the points scored. And shoot, at one point I looked up and I said, this quarter's got to be about over. And there was like eight <laughs> minutes left to go in the quarter. It was, uh, it was an unbelievable quarter. And, you know, we really just really proud of these players. I'm really proud of the way they came out here and they competed. I think Central Florida is a very good football team, and there's a reason that Kevin Smith's the number one leading rusher in the country, averaging 178 yards a game. I, I think they've got a very good offensive line. I think they do a great job, and you know, I mean, boy, they, they made some big plays. I don't think this was one of our best efforts uh, from an assignment standpoint, being where we were supposed to be, and everybody holding their gap. But it was definitely one from an effort standpoint. Five turnovers in one quarter. I mean, that's absolutely unheard of. No, it really was, and I mean, the offense even had the opportunity to punch a couple of them in, and. Uh, it was it was really nice, and we really we really didn't stop them tonight. Mm -hmm. We just took the ball away from them. <laughs> it wasn't like we forced a lot of punts and stopped them and made a lot of turnovers on third down. A couple of the turnovers even came on some big plays. But yeah, again, that's you know, we, Coach Hud says it all the time. It's like, what's the number one job we have on defense? Get the ball back. I mean, that's the job, and that's what you're trying to get done and create some takeaways. And they did that tonight. We'll be back and look at those first half highlights right after this. Welcome back to the show. Well, going into this ball game, we thought it would be a heavyweight fight in the trenches because UCF, they just like to line up and pound the ball at you, don't they? They, they do, and that's what we talked. We talked about last week was kind of that uh, middleweight fight. A lot of quickness, yeah. guys running around, a lot of speed on the field, uh, big splits with the offensive line. This one was more of a toe-to-toe, shoe-to-shoe. -to -toe, -shoe. It was going to be a slug out down inside in the trenches, and that's the type of football that they play, and they play a very physical brand of football. I thought they were coming off the ball, and you know, 90 plays is an awful lot of plays for a defense to go, and they went 90 90 plays last week and 90 plays again this week. And I think the wear and tear is starting to take a toll a little bit on our defense. I don't think we're quite as healthy as we were at the beginning of the year and six straight weeks and then have to play a physical team like this in the six weeks, it's a tall order. But uh, really, really proud of the way that the players continue to compete. Let's go to those first half highlights. 42,777, just an electric atmosphere, and they had not even gotten to their seat skip, and all of a sudden, Curtis Francis takes it back 93 yards for a touchdown. Yeah, he really does a nice job. He turns. I thought we had him hemmed in here in the corner. They do a nice job of making the kick out, and then Ben Hartman, as he turns and kind of just swings around and gives him the cutback lane, and once he cut back, uh, he was gone, and we, we've got to do a better job on our kickoff cover team, but I'll tell you what, Curtis Francis was impressive right here on this return. 15 seconds into the game, UCF has a 7 to nothing lead, and then we see Chris Johnson. He almost takes this one back for the Pirates. Yeah, he almost does the same thing. and gets a 47-yard return here and returns it to the UCF 43, which gives the offense some great starting field position, and I think this kind of started the, the game on what kind of fireworks and electricity there was going to be in the atmosphere. Rob Cass gets the start. He hits Devon Drew. You threw to the tight end early in this game. Yeah, I tried to utilize a little bit of play action, play action to get some things moving and kind of get the thing moving here and uh, hit Devon Drew on the drag here for 13 yards. And then Chris Johnson, good hard run up the middle, gets the touchdown. Yeah, second and two, and he turns and sticks it up in the middle and gets eight yards. And Chris has really been running physical for us and doing a great job inside the tackles, even with all the speed he has once he gets to the corner. And Israel hits uh, Kamir Aiken here for 21 yards and a touchdown to put him ahead. Yeah, and I mean, this one turns from the 21-yard line, and he turns and throws the uh, touchdown pass here. And just, you know, it's unfortunate, but all of a sudden, you know, we're down 14-7, and it's unfortunate because we you know, work to get the thing tied up, and they'd put a nice drive together. Pirates have another three downs and out, and UCF coming back with the football again. And this is Aiken. He loses six yards on this play, and a big play here by Melvin Patterson. Yeah, Kevin Smith had just run for eight yards, and they get themselves in second and two. And this loss of six is big because this puts us back on track with the chains. And this is Israel with a pass to A.J. Guyton for the touchdown. Yeah, I mean, Kyle Israel does a nice job and makes this, makes this completion here for the touchdown. And we just didn't do a very nice job on the punt team, and they started with really good field position. And uh, a little bit unfair to the defense, but then we've got to turn and keep them out of the end zone. 
UCF now up by two touchdowns, 21 to 7. Pirates now coming back with a football and Mr. Electricity, Chris Johnson. What an incredible run here after he makes the catch. Yeah, he really does a nice job. We throw the ball out here in the flat here, and this is what a this is what an explosive, you know, explosive player does. I mean, he turns nothing into something, and we get the ball out in the perimeter, uses his speed to get to the edge and tiptoes the sideline and goes all the way down the field for the touchdown to make it 21-14. 72 yards on that touchdown pass from Rob Cass to Chris Johnson. The Pirates now coming back, playing defense again, and Israel threw the ball, as you mentioned, Coach, very accurately, and he hits Aiken here for 34 yards. Yeah, I mean, the offensively, they do an awful lot of good things, and, I mean, they, they throw this completion here in second and seven, and this puts the ball back down on the 26-yard line, and, again, puts our defense with their backs up against the wall, and Central Florida knocking on the door to score again. Central Florida with a football, moving it right down the field, and then Kevin Smith takes it in from one yard out. Boy, he's a load, isn't he? Yeah, he really is, and, I mean, they just they put a long drive together, and I believe it kind of went 13 plays to go 90 yards this drive and ended with this uh, with this one yard plunge here by Kevin Smith who, who's a talent and all of a sudden it's 28 14 and you're behind Pirates down two touchdowns coming back with a football now late in the second quarter and Michael Hickman gets into the ball game makes a big catch yeah and this was great because this was there was only a minute 30 to go and we're in a two minute drill which we work a couple times a week against each other and Rob does a nice job of hitting Michael Hickman and he picks up 31 yards and this gets us down to the 16 yard line and all of a sudden you're, you're thinking not about a field goal but you're trying to get points on the board with a touchdown. Yeah, first down and goal from the two, and Cass gets sacked here. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we turned and tried to go to a draw, and they do a nice job of, of turning and, and blitzing it. And then when they blitzed it, the extra defender obviously makes the tackle. And, uh, boy, we thought we'd get him in his own coverage. But, you know, it was a guessing game. And But um, um, they did a really nice job. And now we're against the chains, and we're in, in long yardage with second and seven. So you bring Ben Hartman in, and Ben gets a 24-yard field goal. Yeah, and it was just important to get points on this. You know, after we had the lost yardage situation, and uh, we'd thrown the ball on second and third down, we just couldn't get it into the end zone. And so felt like it was really important to get seven po or three points out of this and at least uh, going to halftime with some momentum after a score. Pirates cut the lead to 11 at halftime. We'll be right back with more of the Skip Holt Show, sponsored by your local Chrysler and Jeep dealers, by BB&T, banking, insurance, investment. BB&T, there's opportunity here. And by Sudden Link Communications. Welcome back to the show. Skip, in this game, it just like everybody in this stadium was on the edge of their seat the entire first half, and everybody was just played at a frantic pace, wasn't it? Well, it really was. And I think you, you have two good football teams that were out here playing, both of them trying to make a name for themselves, both of them trying to get in the middle of this conference race with everything. And so uh, there's no doubt there were two good football teams. It was extremely exciting. It was electric. I mean, uh, when you look at the North Carolina game, the Southern Miss game, and now the Central Florida game, there have been three fast-paced electric football games games here at home and it's a uh, it's fun to watch this team play it's fun to watch them go out there and compete and I just uh, love it they were able to have the type of success they did and to go in that locker room and smile and sing that fight song and you know I mean just kid with each other and it does great things for morale during the course of the week five turnovers in the third quarter if you don't believe it we're going to show them to you right now we start the second half and the Pirates need a spark and right out of the gate, Coach, you get it. How about Chris Johnson? Incredible. 96 yards for this touchdown. Yeah, there are a lot of guys that just really stepped up and uh, they did a great job right here, really challenged them after the first half and they come out and do a great job of kind of throwing a spark into it and special teams making something happen here to kind of make up for the way we started the game. But Chris Johnson is a talent, gets some blocking, hits the seam, gets through there and like I said, once he, once he gets out in the open, he's gone. 28-24, Pirates right back in it. Kevin Smith again. This is his biggest run of the night, Coach. He goes here for 36 yeah, yards. He goes for over the right tackle here for 36 yards. And, you know, Eskridge, Van Eskridge comes up and makes the tackle. But this goes all the way down to the nine-yard line. And Van got a little nicked up on this play. But fortunately, you know, we're trying to keep him out of the end zone and, and make him kick a field goal. And that's what this is so great about with Van giving this great effort and coming down to, to not let him into the end zone because we end up forcing the field goal. Yeah, that's exactly what happened as Torres comes in he gets the field goal 20 yard chip shot and UCF is up by a touchdown now 31 24 we come back Pirates with a football and this punt is blocked as uh, Dodge looks up and he's got three knights right in his face yeah and the, the thing that was really unfortunate about it it was a it was a punt safe look from Central Florida they weren't even trying to block it they had their defense alignment in the game and um, when their punt team's in there they try and hold up we just we did not do a very good job of protecting our punter we got a couple busts here and it kind of lets a guy through and, and we got it corrected later, but unfortunately, we had to learn our lesson the hard way, as seen here, getting the punt blocked. 
And now the Pirates need to make a big play on defense, and you come up with one here. How about Travis Simmons, his first career interception? You know, Travis Simmons did a great job. He stepped up. He started. We played Travis Williams in this game as a senior and three freshmen, and, um, and Travis Simmons was one of the freshmen that played and does a great job of making the play here and jumping on the ball and returns this 80 yards all the way down to the nine-yard line. I think he just ran out of gas as he got down there. As a, as a young player, I know his heart was beating and just really excited to see him step up and the, the commitment that he's got to this team and how good he wants to be and just great to see him get out there and gain some experience. But the Pirates do get the ball in the end zone. Cass throws complete to Jamar Bryant. His first touchdown reception as a Pirate. You get the TD anyway. Yeah, and it was third and six here and Rob just throws a strike in here. I didn't didn't think that Rob threw the ball near as well as he needs to in the first half and uh, boy he came out here in the second half wing and it and just throws an absolute strike here for the touchdown. So here we go. Brand new ball game. 31-31. Greco comes in now, and he is hit hard, at fumble recovery, and the Pirates get the ball right back. Yeah, I don't really think we stopped him in this game. I think we just turned and we got the ball back a couple times. But, you know, so many guys are having to step up with some of the injuries and uh, the difficult schedule we've played. And here you see Willie Smith. We talked earlier about Travis Simmons and just some guys really stepping up. But this was a huge play, and, again, this started the, started the roll here in the third quarter. So another turnover. Pirates, can they take advantage of it? They do. Rob Cass hits Devon Drew. The tight end from Newburn with a 20-yard touchdown reception. Boy, this was a pretty throw and a pretty catch. Yeah, it really was. We had just run a reverse to Dwayne Harris for about 40 yards, and uh, this turn it takes us all the way down to the 20-yard line, and we get there, and then uh, he hits Devon Drew here for the touchdown and just gets it right over the defender's outstretched arm, and Devon does a nice job of going up a high point, uh, making the catch for the touchdown. Pirates have the lead, 38-31. UCF coming back with a football, and <laughs> again, lightning strikes for the Pirates. Again, Kyle Israel is intercepted. We thought Quinton Cotton got the ball first. I think you can see it bounces off Quinton, and then Khalif Mitchell actually is credited with the interception. Yeah, well, I mean, Quinton does a great job, and he was bobbling a little bit, kind of cutting in his hands and his chest, and then his lap, and the ball bounced out. And we, we tell him all the time, good things happen to you when you run to the ball. And here's a guy like Khalif, the ball's thrown, and he turns and runs down the field and ends up getting the interception. Another turnover. Can the Pirates take advantage of it again? They can. Chris Johnson goes over the right end. 18 yards here, Coach, and another ECU touchdown. Yeah, he really does a nice job. We hand the ball off to him to the left here, and he turns and cuts it all the way back. And then again, outruns that edge and gets into the end zone to put uh, the score up 45-31 and put us up two scores. I mean, this is unbelievable. UCF comes back with the football again. They turn it over again. Leon Best steps up and makes this interception. Yeah, Leon Best had a great interception last week as well at the Houston game. It was really kind of hoping he could take this one in and score, uh, but he does a really nice job of making the interception and uh, returns at 22 yards and gets the ball down inside the 20-yard line uh, and does a great job of setting up the offense. 45-31 is our score, and the Pirates looking to put this one in the end zone following the turnover again, and Rob Cass shows he can run the football here a little bit. Yeah, he does a really nice job. This is the same play that we looked at earlier when uh, we were on the two-yard line and we lost seven, and this time we caught him in his own. Uh, earlier it was in a man coverage, and this one we catch him in his own, and you can see the, as they bail out of there, Rob does a nice job of finding the hole and just getting the ball over the end zone. 52-31, the Pirates with the lead. UCF coming back now, and uh, they're doing a good job trying to make a comeback in this one. Israel throws complete here to Rocky Ross. Yeah, and Van Eskridge again is on the play, and Van, Van is really a complete player and doing a really nice job. And, uh, you know, they, they have an awful lot of talent. We knew they weren't going to go away quietly, and there's eight minutes to go in this game, and we had to keep playing. Yeah, they're fighting to the end, and Kyle Israel now from three yards out, the touchdown, and UCF got a little life here, Coach, 52-38. Yeah, I mean, they, they turn and put the ball into the end zone, and all of a sudden, you know, we're, we're back into a really competitive game against, again. And, you know, there's there's about six minutes to play at this point. We just needed to make sure that we turned and moved the ball a little bit. And then, Skip, I thought this was really a big play for you. Patrick Pinckney on a third down and six with a run here gets you a first down late. Yeah, well, we do a nice job of getting the onside kick. I mean, you know, if they get that ball, all of a sudden you're in a heck of a ball game, and uh, we get the onside kick, we get a chance to, to move it forward a little bit and Pat, Pat, Patrick Pinckney does a nice job comes in uh, puts his foot in the ground around the right end plants cuts it back and goes and just makes the first down and this was huge so we didn't have to punt it to him to try and keep our defense off the field and then one more sack to end the ball game Osemini comes in and gets the sack here late yeah just trying to play a lot of these guys and Joe Osemini does a nice job of turning and coming off it and when Kyle Israel steps up does a nice job of making the hit and getting the, the credit for the sack what a win for the Pirates they win at 52 38
Really big. You know, Chris did a great job of all night putting us in a great situation on offense, you know, returning the ball out. And, you know, that really put the exclamation point on it. You know, 96-yard kickoff return for a touchdown really turned the tides and got us going in the second half without a doubt. You know, these guys are smart guys out there on the field. They recognize coverage and, you know, they'll sit a route down or they'll, or they'll bust through a route if, if you know, they see it, if they see it open. And, uh, you know, I can't thank these guys enough. They make things easy for me. The Skip Holt Show continues with sponsorship by Trade Wilco. Pirates on the go stop at Trade Wilco. By Pepsi, born in Eastern Carolina, the official soft drink of ECU football. And by David O'Neill Saab. You're closer to owning a jet than you think. Today's Look Ahead is brought to you by Eye Care Center. Eye doctors you can trust. Well, no rest for the weary for the Pirates. They've got that long flight out to El Paso, Texas to take on UTEP. We talk about uncharted waters. I don't know if any of us have ever been to the Sun Bowl before. Well, I mean, I have been. Not from, not from Greenville, but I had a chance to play there when I was at Colorado State uh, a long time ago in my first job in coaching. And, you know, I mean, I don't... It's a great place to play. They have a great stadium. They have a great crowd, and I, th I know they have a very good football team. And so uh, we're excited about going out. I don't know that I'm real excited about the four-hour plane ride going out and playing at 9 o'clock at night Eastern time. We'll get back probably about 8 o'clock in the morning on Sunday to get ready for NC State. But uh, we know it's going to be another challenge. You know, we, we've got six games under our belt at this point, and we've, we've still got another five to go before we get a chance to take a breath and an open date. So uh, there's no rest for the weary. We, I'd love to turn and, and take some time to sit down and and ice, you know, ice our shoulders and get everybody healthy. But at the same time, we don't have that luxury right now. So we just uh, we got to load up the van and we got to get ready to go again this week. Skip, a great victory for your ball club. Back to back wins now in the conference. You're right back in the hunt. Yeah, and I, as I tell this team, I mean, what we got to do is we got to take care of business and just go one at a time. Most important game on the schedule is UTEP. You know, we, we talk about being humble and hungry and just staying focused on what we got to do. And let's let all the poles and the bowls and the conference things take care of themselves. Let's just make sure that we're focused on the task at hand and control what we control. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you in El Paso. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff. That's the head coach of the Pirates, Skip Holtz, and we'll see you next week right here on the Skip Holtz Show. Today's broadcast of the Skip Holtz Show was brought to you in part by North Carolina's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, proud sponsors of Pirate Football, by Steinbeck's Men's Shop, and by Pizza Hut, home of the Bistro Menu. Come dine with us today. The Skip Holtz Show is an exclusive presentation of ISP, America's home for college sports.